In our last example of improper integral, we want to look at what's called a mixed improper integral. Uh, we're going to integrate from 1 to infinity, 1 over x, natural log of x, cubed dx. So we've got infinite interval here, but then also we're integrating starting at 1, and down here log of 1 is 0, so that's a 0 on the denominator. And if you look at the graph of this function, 1 over x, ln x cubed, it looks like this. Um, you have a vertical asymptote here at 1. And we're integrating from 1 out to infinity. So you've got an infinite horizontal strip, but you've also got an infinite vertical strip. So what we want to do is uh, we want to break this integral up into two pieces. Um, so we're going to, so we've only got one issue in each piece. So we want to integrate from 1 to a number. And I'm going to use e because natural log of e here is 1. So 1 to e, 1 over x ln of x quantity cubed dx. And then add to that the integral from e to infinity of 1 over x ln of x cubed dx. So uh, e is about 2.71. So we're actually breaking that here. Um, so we'll have our first piece is going to include the infinite vertical strip. And then our second piece will include this very long, thin, infinite horizontal strip. So um, intuition, you're looking at this, well, it looks like that you know, infinitely long horizontal strip, it looks like that one's small, that might be finite, but this infinite vertical strip, this is pretty fat. So I'm thinking that this, this first integral may be infinite. So let's look at that one, because if that's infinite, then we just stop and say the integral diverges. So uh, integral from 1 to e of 1 over x, ln of x quantity cubed dx. 1 is the trouble spot, so that gets replaced with the variable. So we're going to do a to e, 1 over x, ln of x quantity cubed dx. And then we're going to take a limit as that a approaches 1 from the positive side. So we're going to go from a out to e finite interval and finite area and then let that a approach 1 from the positive side. We'll take more and more of that infinite vertical strip and see what happens. Does it go to infinity? So, well, here I see a function, and then it's derivative 1 over x dx. So here I'm going to let u equal ln of x, so that my du is 1 over x dx. And then we'll have to change our limits of integration over also. So just keep that in mind. So this will be limit a approaches 1 from the plus side. Integral 1 over x dx, that's our du. And then u cubed in the denominator, so du over u cubed. And then uh, let's see here, take a, plug it in for x there, so ln of a is going to be our lower limit. And then take our e, plug it in for x. Natural log of e is 1. And that's why I picked e as my uh, point to split this up. So this doesn't look too bad. So we want to do limit. a is approaching 1 from the plus side. And we're going to integrate from ln of a to 1, u to the negative 3 du. So that's just going to be a power rule, right? Limit a approaches 1 from the plus side, 
Uh, we'll add one to the exponent, so u to the negative 2, um, divide by negative 2. And we're going to evaluate that from natural log of a up to 1, these limits here. So the negative 2 in the denominator, I'm going to factor that out of the evaluation. So this will be limit. A approaches 1 from the plus, and then 1 over negative 2 is the same as negative 1 half, and then u to the negative 2 is 1 over u squared, so I'll write that as 1 over u squared, and then we'll just evaluate the 1 over u squared from ln of a to 1. So we're taking limit, a approaches 1 from the plus side, negative 1 half out in front, and then 1 over u squared, so we're plug in a 1, 1 over 1 squared, which is 1, minus, plug ln a in for u, 1 over ln of a squared. And then what happens here? Well, uh, as a approaches 1 from the plus side, ln of a approaches 0, right? Log of 1 is 0, squared. So uh, that approaches 0 from the plus side. So this looks like number over 0. Number over 0 goes to plus or minus infinity. The top is positive. The bottom is positive. So that's actually plus infinity that this piece approaches. So this 1 over log of a squared approaches infinity. So this looks like a negative 1 half out in front, 1 minus infinity. So this will be negative infinity times a negative 1 half. That's infinite. So we actually can stop there, and we can say that the integral diverges. So we go back up here, and we say that this diverges. So once one of them is infinite, plus or minus infinity, you can stop. Now, uh, let's say that we picked this second integral to start with. Let's see what happens with that one. Let's see if it's finite, just for kicks. So we don't really need to do this, but let's do it for practice. So integral 1 to e of 1 over x ln of x cubed dx. So what would happen if you picked this one? Well, you'd integrate from, uh, or I'm sorry, we're, we're doing the, uh, Let's see, we're doing e to infinity, the second one. What if we picked that one? What would happen there? So infinities are trouble spots. So we'll do an integral from e up to b of 1 over x ln of x cubed dx. And then we'll take a limit as that b approaches infinity. We'll notice this part, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use u as ln of x and 1 over x. So we're still going to get our du over u cubed. So that stays the same. Our limits are just different. And it's still going to be u to the negative 3. And it's still going to be negative 1 half 1 over u squared. So this is going to be limit. Um, b goes to infinity. Uh, and then integral, this is still going to be du over u cubed. That stays the same. We're using the same substitution, except now we've got to plug these guys in. So this, um, our e goes in here, ln of e. There's our 1. And then our b comes in here, ln of b. So we've got log b on the top instead of ln a in the bottom. And we know what this ANA derivative is going to be. That's going to be here. So this is going to be limit. B approaches infinity, negative 1 half times 1 over u squared. And that 1 over u squared is evaluated from 1 to log of b. So now we can go ahead and 
plugin. So this would be limit b goes to infinity, negative one half in front, uh, one over log of b in for u, so ln of b squared minus plug a one in, one over one squared, one. And then as b goes to infinity, log of b goes to infinity, so this piece looks like one over infinity squared, which will approach zero. So that approaches zero. So our limit is negative one half times zero minus one times negative one, which is one half. So that piece is indeed finite. So that's a finite area. But then what do you got to do? Well, if we would have done this one first and got a finite answer, we would have had to go back and check this one. And we got an infinite answer. So this area here is infinity, including that whole vertical strip. And then the area out here is finite. It's one half. So, but the total area is infinite. So the total integral diverges. So that's why uh, it's good to you know look first and think, oh, well, you know, is one of these infinite? If that's the case, then do that one first and then the integral diverges, you're done. If you get a finite answer, you gotta do the other piece anyways to make sure it's finite.